Happy New Year guys, I'm back in the studio and I feel a bit delayed. Normally these New Year videos start right after Christmas and after New Year, but literally on New Year's Day I caught Covid. So I have had a bit of a break, I'm still not feeling 100% but first of all I feel like I've been in a funk. I feel like the longer you're off work the harder it is to like come back into work. I don't know if you guys feel like that but um, yeah I've been kind of feeling in a funk to be honest. I've been feeling this throughout the whole or at least the last part of 2021. Business was really tough in 2021, it was really really testing me and I've really felt that especially over the new year I spend January as a time of reflection looking on my goals and what I want to achieve in 2022 and we're actually having a meeting with the catnip crew on Friday and we're going to jot down our ideas and what we want to experience in 2022 as a business and as a team and where we want catnip to go and I feel like I've lost it I feel like because the second half of 2021 was so personal I had like a house move and wedding and I really feel like I've lost myself a little bit I feel like I've lost track of why I started catnip in the first place, the goals for it and everything. So I really want to use January as a time to get that back. I'm still not feeling a hundred percent. I still feel I feel quite like weak and a bit weird. The weird symptoms I've had like a bad stomach which is really strange. Uh, so I'm going to try and take it easy and not be hard, so hard on myself. Today I'm going to start off by tidying the studio because I feel like that's a clean slate that I need to get into focus and to feel focused again and I also need to take the Christmas tree down which I feel like I've only just put up. Let's get to work on cleaning up the studio and getting focused. got sidetracked when I was tidying up but I actually changed the layout of the room around a little bit and we've got the table over here to kind of extend this bit uh, I still need to clean up and I've got so much organizing and tidying to do but it's not going to happen in one day also look how beautiful it is outside anyway I just wanted to show you something that I've just discovered there is this option on Mac called sidecar and I've just discovered it so basically your sidecar you can use your iPad as a graphics tablet or a second monitor and what I'm currently working on at the minute is some Moon and Star Friends stickers that have that I have been uh, illustrating, that I illustrated yesterday. Look how cute this is. So I'm going to actually create some planner stickers and then I need to tidy up the rest of the studio because it's, it's a mess.
still love this bookshop. Every time I pass here, I look at it and think, I want somewhere like this. Good morning guys, I'm back in the studio. It looks really dark on this camera. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm not gonna lie, yesterday was a complete write-off. I feel like I'm still get, tr getting over COVID, to be honest. I feel extremely tired. Literally, I set my alarm clock for like 8 a.m. today and I snoozed it for like an hour and a half uh, and then didn't get out of bed till like 11. I'm so, so tired. I'm going to try and send off a bunch of stickers today, so I'll show you how they turn out like. And I'm gonna try and use a Pomodoro method again which is like this tomato timer you can download an app you basically work for 25 minutes and break for five minutes and work for 25 minutes it's meant to increase your productivity so this here is the app I use it's called flora so basically you plant a seed and you watch the tree grow from the time that you put on uh, to the app but basically you can put a price on this focus timer and if you break the timer you have to pay that price but it goes towards planting trees so it's not like a bad uh, thing but it is handy you don't have to put a price on it is handy you just use it as a timer and you watch the uh, tree grow <laughs> So I finished designing the UK holiday sticker. Yeah, stickers, and look how cute these are. These are my favorite stickers that I think I've ever made. Like these ones and the little moon and star friends. Just look at these little, this bonfire night is like my favorite one. It's just so cute, what the heck? I've literally been wanting to update all of my stickers in my store and add more and more planner stickers that are actually usable because I haven't got many in at all. Uh, well, I have now, but it's slowly building up over time. And since it's January, uh, it means that everyone can use these if I get these in ASAP. But the only thing is, I'm not sure whether to get them on A5 uh, paper, like an A5 sticker, or whether I want to do it on A6 which is my usual planner sticker size so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print out a sample just to see how these print out and make sure that the size of the text and everything uh, prints out okay so I'm going to do a little experiment and see what they look like and I'll give you an update. Okay, so this is the largest sticker sheet. This is A5 and this is the A6 one. And because I use a A5 planner, I thought that the A5 stickers would be perfect. But to be honest, I think they're gonna be a bit too big. Like, 
I don't know if you can see, but these are to add to the little squares on the planet and I think these are more versatile when they're smaller like this they're meant to be kind of used as like little tabs uh, I feel like this would be much better than this because this would take up if you use a small planner would take up quite a lot of space so I think I'm gonna go for the A6 one it also makes it neater because most of my planner stickers are A6 apart from my waterproof ones I've also just received this in the post that I got from Amazon it's an Apple pencil charger uh, just because now that I use my iPad for a display it's like really really heavy there you go and you just pop it in here so when I'm not using it I can just kind of like pop it in like that and it also has a little a little hole for my thing I don't know I just find that cool and I've got a spare USB and hopefully this should charge all the way up it's always on the empty I think I've also received the Marshy Mail Club the final Marshy Mail Club stickers this is actually meant to go out at the beginning of the month but obviously I got Covid so that couldn't happen I need some scissors. Whoa! Oh, that's so good. So the first batch is the You Got This uh, stickers. Really like this. And it's got like a dark blue background. I thought it'd look really, really nice on like a pink, like a pastel pink. Ta-da! At the moment, you can't join the Marshmail Club um, anymore because I have closed it down for this year to focus on different things and I also found it wasn't really working financially. Everyone else has gone home in the studio uh, but I want to send off those stickers so that they're ready and I get them by next week so I can do a launch of Gingy and uh, those stickers next week so I'm going to get to work on that. I've just done something I've never done before and I've put a official pre-order on the You Are Magic jumpers that I was wearing in yesterday's studio vlog on my Etsy shop. I thought it'd be a great way to kind of keep track of cash flow and also ordering enough. So I'm doing a pre-order this time. Um, <coughs> it is limited, so there is only a few um, available, but it is now live as of today when you're watching the studio vlog. So today is going to be a day that I edit the vlogs and I also schedule, I'm gonna to attempt to a schedule, to schedule my social media content so I feel like in 2021 because I had so much personal stuff going on I lost momentum and I, I built up that momentum through consistency so I was consistently showing up on Instagram on YouTube I had set days that I uploaded everything and that was Thursday during 2021 that kind of started slipping away actually it started slipping away late 2020 and then 2021 here and it just kind of started unraveling again and I wasn't being consistent I wasn't showing up consistently on Instagram on YouTube I was kind of just sporadically uploading but I used to have set upload days and that was Thursday so I'm gonna go back to that I'm gonna to attempt to go back to that and get my upload days back on a Thursday also I've been feeling I'm gonna be truthful I've been feeling in a funk about this studio if I'm gonna to be totally totally honest I've never really liked this studio. It's very dark and just not my cup of tea. And I keep reflecting back to when I was in my first original studios and it was so bright and white and I actually got extra lights put into the ceiling to make the space really, really bright. Cause that's what I like when I'm working, really, really bright, open, airy space. And as you can see, the lighting in this place is absolutely terrible. And also it's been a rough year in business and I'm thinking, should I downsize and move to another room that's come available but the only thing is I'll lose my sea view because Natalie my friend at Liel have, has actually just got my old room that was a sea view that is upstairs and part of me thinks I shouldn't have moved out there but then we ran out of space <laughs> so 
there was just no winning. I can't really win because I wouldn't have had anywhere to store the plushies. Like literally we'd filled the floor space up. So I couldn't have technically stayed in there but her old room, Liel, has come available and it's smaller than this one. And then I'd have to remove the cottage and I love the cottage. I don't know, maybe I just need to see if I can get some lighting installed. Uh, who knows? So that's the dilemma that I'm currently going through this week. I feel like it's dilemma after dilemma. I'm really second guessing myself lately and I don't know what it was. I don't know whether it's because 2021 was a rough year in business and this year is off to a rough start and it's kind of knocked my confidence a bit. I don't know. But I'm going to focus myself instead of getting all this negative self-talk in my head I'm going to try and show up consistently because I know I haven't been showing up consistently so once I do that and I really pull out all the stops and I do everything back how I used to do it but then also try that out because I really want to get to work on TikToks again <laughs> my mind's a mess at the minute it's been difficult to navigate and I've only in been in business full time for a short period of time I've had catnip since 2015 but I I always had other jobs um, on the side, whether it was a full-time job, part-time job, or even freelance jobs. Uh, and I've only actually been full-time in business since 2019. So I'm still finding my foot in, and I still think I'm a really early uh, start -up. I want to say a huge, huge thank you for all your support in 2021 and going forward into 2022. And a special shout out to my wonderful patrons who we share the behind the scenes with. And without them, this genuinely wouldn't be possible. I wouldn't be able to afford this year. You are also thank you so much for our beautiful patrons. Alright then, thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.